Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Maddles and today I've got game number one of a best of one coming up. It is a bit of Zerg versus Protoss. And it is going down on the new Star Station. It is all pretty and I like it and it makes me happy and I'm all hyperactive. Because, no one get this, but I've got a new boat, right? I've got a new boat. So yeah, I'm happy because boats are awesome. And now, if that doesn't spew a stream of comments being like, what kind of boat? I'm not going to tell anyone, so you, should, you can make guesses. If anyone links that I've got a boat song by The Lonely Island, you are incredibly awesome. But yeah, that's enough about boats. This is all about this game and spawning down in the bottom right hand position as the Red Protoss player. It is Bright Dawn. I've never seen a Bright Dawn because I live in England, which means we only get slightly grey dawns and occasionally we see the sun. But anyway, his opponent up in the top left is the Blue Zerg player, representing Team Root. Manager of Team Root. It's Cats. Everybody love a bit of Cats. Cats is awesome. Um, cats could potentially proxy hatch you. And this drone. Damn, this drone seems like a proxy hatch drone. Do it, Cats. Do it. Let the, f let the power of the proxy hatch flow through you. Oh, God, I love proxy hatches. It makes me very happy. He's totally going to do it. And, and I really think Bright Dawn is going to go for a Nexus first, which is like the worst thing you can do against the proxy hatch. Here comes the drone. Drone, what are you going to do? Yo, drone. Drone, are you going to get there in time? It's going to be so close. No, okay, the drone's not proxying. Drone, wait, coming down. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it, no proxy hatch. So, hatch be back at home. That's all good for catch right now. Um, he's also going to go and take his third. He's going to be like, la, 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 la. If he doesn't take his third, this drone is like on a weird mission. But there's no, there's no spawning point. It's just like you go hatch first, you go nexus first. I'm gonna go hatch hatch pool. Like I care, like I give a duck. You never would give a duck. It'd be a really weird Christmas present, especially. I'm not sure. Would it be more weird to give a duck as a Christmas present if it was alive or dead? I think both would be fairly weird. The live one probably less weird. Giving someone a dead duck for Christmas would just be like. Imagine that. Imagine like, imagine you had like a crazy relative, right? You probably do. Most people have a crazy relative. And there you are. You go, I get Christmas. And you get a box and you unwrap and you open it up and there's a dead duck inside. Like, that would scar you. Especially if you were a child. You may be a child. I don't know. I wonder what, I, I don't get information like that in my analytics. Um, okay, this is cats. Build a hatchery. In the middle of nowhere, before a sporty pool. Ha cats, 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 cats. What are you doing? What are you doing? You don't have a sporting pool, cats. Cats, cats. There's hatcheries everywhere. This is crazy. Okay. Anyway, forge it down. <laughs> okay. Wait. Meanwhile, bright dawn. Bright dawn is just sitting there on his computer, just like, yeah, I'm playing cats. I'm gonna, gonna make some probes, some pylons, add in my gateway and cybernetics core. This is. This is currently his vision. Bright Dom, he's like, yep, cats can do whatever he wants. Got my wall off done. I'm clearing out these rocks. Meanwhile, cats is like, -la 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 let's get down another hatchery. And it's working so well. Now it's sporting. This sporting pool, right, started at roughly 4 minutes 45. 4.45. He went hatch, hatch, hatch pool. What is up with that? 4 hatch before pool. What? How does... I, I don't even know. I want to play a game after this cast where I do that. I'll probably die to like a proxy T gate or something. <laughs> Knowing my luck, but Cats just doesn't care. On the bright side, this does actually join up these bases with creep, I think. And this is a like, I think. I don't know. I am uncertain if it is guaranteed or not. Gas is coming down as well, because you might as well. you got four hatches, you're going to need to spend some, uh, some gas on stuff. Meanwhile... Three additional gates coming down. This is potentially the worst thing that could be happening to cats right now. Um, apart from five gates. If he gets six gates, cats has problems. There we go, six. This is going to be mass zealots with plus one. I know that because there's only two gases. Um, oh, okay, only one gas. This is going to be as many zealots as humanly possible. Will the overlords see it? The overlords are coming! There's the roach one. Cats knows. He is aware. He's like... Dude, there's about to be a lot of zealots in my base. The scouting is ideal. 6.30. Always scout 6.30. Come in with those overlords and be like, yup. 
who's got a lot of those. He's not mining gas from here. He is going to make all of the zealots. All of the zealots are going to be coming into my base with plus one because he saw the forge researching. So Katz is aware. Katz gets his roacher on and now he's just got to get as many roaches as possible. He's side his speed anyway, but make roaches. Make roaches. Roach after roach after roach after roach. This overlord is going to die. That's bad for Katz, but he's got a whole ton more on its way. Six roaches on their way out. Here comes the stalkers on their way forward. Um, notice now Brightgob is pretty much out of money. Uh, or out of gas. He's trying to add in another stalker, but yeah, he needs to make a lot of zealots. Uh, meanwhile, Katz, he needs to make just a ton of everything. Like, the everything, buddy. He just needs to make as much stuff as he can, and he is doing it. The roaches do kill a stalker. That's all good. They're still going in. Um, Zealot is about to go taking down. We've got the stalkers pushing back up in big waves of warbins, and here they come. The charge of the Zealots. So many more lings on their way through. The roaches trying to hug up, kill everything they can. The stalkers need to go down first. Once the stalkers are dead, the roaches can deal with pretty much everything else. Queens, they're making their presence known. Unfortunately, the Zerglings are dying. The Zerglings are dying everywhere. Cats takes out the Queens, so, uh, takes out the Stalkers. The Queen's busy chipping away here. Queen's good against Zealots, too. Um, especially on Creep. There's a big wave of units coming through, though. Speed now done. The Proxy Pylon is still a never-ending threat. Eight more Roaches in production. More Speedlings are here as well, ready. What Cats need to do is take this out in an efficient fashion. Cats sitting at 41 workers. He's got hatches everywhere. This is the point where Brighton is going to be like, lol, what? Why is there a hatchery there? But Katz doesn't care. Katz is like, I've got queens, I've got roaches, I've got circlings, they're all coming at you, they're doing as much as they can. The proxy pile on attempting to get him taken down, but doesn't. More zealots, more stalkers on their way through. Still gonna be doing more damage. Just starting to get a little bit out of hand right now for Katz. He needs to conserve his units. He needs to be able to take this down in the most efficient way possible. Trying to prioritize that stalker using the creep spread really nicely. The creep spread generated by his infinite hatcheries. But now, with no, well, only one stalker left, the roach is pushing his back. Cat's still producing more roaches because he's not all over yet, and he knows his opponent has invested all of the things in this. There's no tech, there's no gases, there's not really a follow up. The cat is holding. There is still a pylon down, though, that can do with dying, and down come the roaches to do that very important job. But cat's now with a lot of units here, more speedlings coming through. Cat's has still got an amazing economy. Oh, oh no, amazing, he's got an economy. He's got money coming in, he hasn't lost any workers, as far as I'm aware. Um, there's a lot of links. Roach is still pushing in, still taking out these zealots. Remember, plus one zealots, two shot zerglings, which is why they're so powerful. And this build is so frustrating. But Cat transitioning back into droning. Ten drones in production at a time. His overall lava count still up at five, so he can make more. Fourteen drones coming through. He's like, I am just going to go and be on Bright Dawn with my army. So he sits back and defends. Meanwhile, I can drone. I can get up to like 80 drones in two waves. Because I've just got so many, so many hatcheries. But yeah, the roaches are still going to do the damage. This forge would actually be quite good to pick off after the cannons. The cannons can die first, and this is actually still looking quite vulnerable. Mothership Court is up. Um, a third cannon on its way through. The sentry's desperately trying to keep the force fields going. But the roach is still here. They're dealing good damage. But with good force fields, we still see the... For the moment, right on is holding. Pylon's going down though. More cannons attempting to go up, but the roaches have reached the natural base. Cat is not producing units behind this moment. It's only drones coming down. And that means that if he can hold this off, he might still have a charge, but a lot of probes now engaging. Zella trying to engage. The forge still up. The upgrade's still coming through. The roach numbers dwindling, but the probe count is somehow still staying up. Mothership Corps trying to work through the roach count, getting a lot lower. Has this been attacked from probe core? That will save everything. The forge is slowly getting killed. More sentries, more zealots on their way through. Probes are going to start dying shortly though, and they are now starting to fall. The forge really wants to stay up, but Cat producing a lot more behind this is getting the spire as well. He's transitioning into the mass computer. Just knowing that his opponent is trying to prevent this. Good little scout down here sees that there's nothing too scary to Stargate or anything like that. The wall off not yet down. Cat with just a quick wave of units, and he's gone back to droning behind this. He's up to 65 drones already. But with a Foden overcharge, there has been a small respite board by, by Brighton. Spine Call is there coming down. Everything looking good for the time being. We're still getting some fun times at the moment out of Cats. Cats going to the crazy builds and somehow managed to work in some crazy, ridiculous way. But, Foden Cannon Pylon, Forge now nearly finished up, getting that plus one ground armor upgrade. Of course, there's no Twilight Cannon, so it can't be plus two. Um, in terms of tech, Immortals now on their way, which are great against Roaches. They're terrible, though, against 
mutilisks, and that is why Cat has done it. He knows. He's like, lol, lol, lol. I'm gonna make 15 mutilisks. Like, boom. Ready? Any second now. Cats, I'm watching your production tab. Do it. You've got the money to. 16. 17. There we go. 17 mutilisks. This is a mutilisk switch. At the 14 minute mark, 17 muters come out. Katz, he's taking a fourth base. He's got his macro hatchery in the middle here. He's got some static defense down. He's all looking happy. And he knows his opponent is doing everything in his power to defend against roaches. But, like a. I, okay, I don't want to be biased, but let's face it. Like a true Protoss, or at least a ladder Protoss, if your two base all in fails, two base all in. Pretty much. That's, that's the way Protoss play, as far as I'm aware. Um. <laughs> I am, I am somewhat being sarcastic, but everyone, everyone knows those games when you're playing up against the Protoss, and they're like, they tried to two base all in me. It didn't work, so then they tried a different two base all in. But the Mutalisks are here now, charging across the map, or flapping across the map. We've also got Pushto coming in, the Mutalisks going to try to deal some good damage. There's no defense right now. Zero. Nothing. Probes are being slaughtered. It's a massacre. There's a couple of Stalkers and a Photon Cannon, but only 30 probes are there. Um, the stalkers can just get like eaten alive at the moment. Eleven roaches coming through. Cats is just like, oh my fourth. Yeah, I don't need that. I've got mutalisks now. Cannon down, and now the mutalisks can just pretty much kill everything. Four skills are good though. For Bright Dawn at the moment, he is attempting to hold all of this off. Um, he has actually chipped away this army quite nicely. The immortal is still up. And Cats though, he's got spine callers only prodding and chipping and killing. Meanwhile, Mutalus is killing all the probes. Only 20 left on the field. Meanwhile, there's still the right dog pushing forward. The spine call is doing a good job whittling this down. And now, with the big waves of roaches coming through, the sentries are actually trying to get taken out first. Because the immortals, yes, they deal with the damage to the roaches, but the Mutalus can just come back whenever they so feel like. And just, as long as there's not too many sentries and stalkers, like, the Mutalus can come back whenever they feel like it now. And this army's dead. And Bright Dawn knows it because he's got only 10 workers and GG's out. So that was one of the strangers. Zerg versus Protoss, I've seen from the Zerg side. Cats there, chucking down. Hatch, hatch, hatch pull. Yeah. It worked. Awesome. Anyway, if you enjoyed that game, I did. Like the video, leave a cool comment, and of course subscribe. And then, check back tomorrow. Or we'll just go and watch some of my other videos, because, you know, why not? Starcraft's awesome. And yeah, I'll catch you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.